Exact Track 4D constantly scans for new threats in your neighborhood, alerting you faster than ever when severe storms are heading your way. Well, so for the first time in several weeks after their few weeks in London, the Jags are back here tomorrow. Yeah. What can the 60,000 or so fans expect <laughs> when they go out? Well, it's been raining almost yeah. every weekend for the Jags games. I mean, we've had tents and raincoats and everything, mm -hmm. and tomorrow is going to be like, Picture perfect, perfect football weather. Football weather. Yeah. And the Green Bay Packers are in town. And the last time they were here was many years ago, and it was so hot. Tomorrow's going to be so perfect. I have seen them all over town. Well, they'll Scott. probably be happy they're not in Green Bay this time. Yeah, of year. yeah, yeah. But they are definitely enjoying the summer sun here yeah. in Florida. All right, let's take a look. I want to talk first, real quick, about the out of the darkness walk. That was this morning in Jacksonville Beach. This is from the stage at the Seawalk Pavilion, the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. I had the honor, I mean the honor, of being the MC for this event, and it was amazing. 995 people showed up for this gorgeous walk. Look at the sky in Jacksonville Beach this morning. It's a terrible picture. It doesn't really depict anything. And this is, they do these beads, which was just amazing. This is on the beach, and I wish the picture didn't expand, but maybe it gives a really good idea of all these people that were walking along the beach. And those folks who didn't walk on the beach walked on the boardwalk. There was also a surfing contest going on, so very lots of activity going on at the beach this morning. This this amazing out of the darkness walk for suicide prevention and just to have a conversation about suicide raised nearly $72,000 for this walk. So I was very honored to be asked and uh, I look forward to hopefully doing it again next year. Now here's a look at the beach from pretty much the same area. This is where that surfing competition was earlier and it was awesome. And the weather at the beach could not have been more beautiful. So tomorrow, a repeat of today at your area beaches. Low tide will be right before noon. So perfect time to set up your beach picnic. And then high tide at the Main Street Bridge will be at 721 and then low tide at the Main Street Bridge will be around 135 tomorrow. So great day, moderate chance of rip currents pretty much for our Northeast Florida counties only and a low chance for our Southeast Georgia counties. So if you can get in the water, especially in Southeast Georgia, please do. It's really nice and you can wade in it a little bit. Check out the beauty of this sunset at the Jacksonville Airport tonight. Sunset does officially come around 645. Now this is kind of cool. You know, fun fact, there was a volcano that erupted in central Mexico today and some of the volcanic ash could be coming our way, making our sunset look a little bit hazy and probably really beautiful tonight. So current temperatures across the area, everywhere from 77 in Brunswick to 81 in Jacksonville officially. Officially, we hit 85 today. Yesterday, we were one degree off of a record high. So we've already tied a record high earlier this week than yesterday. We almost had another record high. Tomorrow, the record high is 90. I don't think we'll be near there, but it's a beautiful night across the area. Fire up the fire pits tonight. You're going to want to hang out. All right, I have to show you cloud and radar forecast. Not a lot to show you. As we go through the hours, you'll see that there's no blips of rain, at least in our forecast for the next two days as we finish this last weekend in October. Check out these temperatures throughout the evening too. By 1 a.m. it'll be in the high 60s. Lovely evening. Patchy fog will develop overnight. Could be dense in spots. Tune in tomorrow between 7 and 9, and I'll tell you where the fog is tomorrow morning. Low temperatures across the area will be in the low 60s for just about everybody. A little bit warmer at the beaches and our highs tomorrow. I think this is a little low. I think it'll be a little higher than this in at uh, the beaches tomorrow. But officially, the high looking for 85. All right, here's just a look for these forecast normals and the record for tomorrow is 90. I don't think we'll hit that, but we are a little bit above where we should be for this time of year. All right, 83 at kickoff. Perfect football weather like we were just talking about. Welcome to town, all you Green Bay Packer fans. All right, Halloween this week too. 76 degrees, light winds on Halloween, but check out this last week of October. Our highs stay in the low 80s right where we should be a little bit a little bit, little bit above where we should be for this time of year rain chances return Scott on Tuesday. Thank you Michelle. Coming up